Revit provides tools for analyzing the energy use of your building project using location, climate, and construction information. You can perform an energy analysis using a mass model or building elements. The tools used to perform an energy analysis are found on the Analyze ribbon in the Energy Analysis panel. To perform an energy analysis with building elements, select Use Building Element Mode. Before you run an energy simulation, realize that the energy analysis tools are a subscription-only feature. In order to run an energy simulation, you must be a Revit subscription customer. Also, the energy analysis tools are a cloud-based service, so you must have an active internet connection at the time you run the analysis. Also, before running any energy simulations, you should make sure that all of the energy settings are correct. To perform the energy analysis, I'll click Run Energy Simulation. When I do, Revit opens the Run Energy Simulation Energy Analytical Model Required dialog. As you can see here, the Energy Analytical Model needs to be created before an energy simulation can be run. This can take quite some time. The only option is to create the energy analytical model and continue to run the energy simulation. Or you can click Cancel. I'll go ahead and create the analytical model. After Revit creates the energy analytical model, a dialog appears, stating that the process is complete. Also, the dialog states that Revit model content and complexity varies widely. To learn more about energy model validation, you can select Click Here to Learn More at the bottom of the dialog. Essentially, this is a warning that there are thousands of parameters that can affect the results of an energy model, especially in a large building. So you should be sure that the building elements you are using for the energy model are correct. Click OK to continue and Revit opens the Run Energy Simulation dialog. For the run name, I'll enter Test 1. You can also choose to create a new Green Building Studio project or use an existing project. When you select Use Existing, you can select an existing project from the drop-down. Also, the Options tab becomes available and you can see the settings of the selected project. On the General tab, I'll select Create New and leave the project name as it is. Then I'll click Continue. At some point, you may see an additional Terms dialog if you have not run any simulations before. You must first agree to these additional terms before any simulations will be performed. Revit will log on to the web service using your subscription account information. The first time you use this tool, you may also see a dialog prompting you to enter your username and password. Once the analysis is complete, you will see a notification in the lower right corner of the window. To view the results, you can click on the link in the notification or click Results and Compare in the Energy Analysis panel on the Analyze ribbon. When you do, Revit displays the Results and Compare dialog. Here, you can see reports from each analysis you have run. When you select a particular run in the tree on the left, you will see a report of that run. The report shows a preview of the model and some basic information at the top. When you scroll down, you can see Building Performance Factors, Energy Use Intensity, Life Cycle Energy Use Cost, and Renewable Energy Potential. Then you can see more detailed information with charts for Annual Carbon Emissions, Annual Energy Use Cost, Usage for Various Fuels, Monthly Heating and Cooling Loads, and Weather. 
There are also tools at the top of this dialog to delete reports, email reports, export reports in various formats, and print the report. You can also click Restore to synchronize the results you're viewing with the server in the event that you lost your internet connection. You can also select two different analysis runs and click Compare to get a comparison report. It can be very useful to compare your results after you've made design changes, such as altering the roof construction type or the shape of the building. Small changes to the shape or orientation of the building project can have significant effects on the computed energy usage. That's why the energy analysis tools should be used early in the design process, when these types of changes are more easily made. You can also switch to the Settings tab and control the information that appears in the reports, along with the header and footer. 